Thank you for staying with us. So what did we find in the news today, ladies? Who do we start with? NJ? Okay, um, so my news is the defense headquarters says that um, 36 officers were killed in Niger State in the last few days. So the director of defense media operations, Major General Edward Buba, made this known when he gave a breakdown of the casualties in the ambush of troops in Niger State. An evacuation uh, helicopter that, and the evacuation helicopter that crashed on the 14th of August. So he said that no fewer than three officers and 22 soldiers were killed during an ambush on the troops last Sunday with seven um, soldiers severely wounded. He added that they now sent an, on, uh, an aircraft on an evacuation mission and this also included um so that aircraft that was that was supposed to evacuate the people that were injured during that ambush they now had a crash so that kind of doubled so um previously there were 14 killed um soldiers seven wounded soldiers and uh two pilots and two crew members in that crash mm -hmm. so it's like uh it's, I, I, it's a funny story. So there was an ambush in Niger State, and mm -hmm. some soldiers were killed, some were injured. And, uh, in the process of rescue. In the process of rescue. Another crash. Another crash. Now, we're not sure of the exact information to know if the crash was caused by the same ambush, yeah. if it was an attack on the craft, or it was just in the, you know, the process of maneuvering through the whole attack and the process. But it's just, it just brings to light like how many people that were killed over the last couple of days, you know, in Lagos, we're discussing things that affect us directly. And in other states in Nigeria, things are really happening and people are dying and soldiers are being put on the front line and they are dying anyhow. So I don't know. I would love to hear the full story of what, how the, um, what even transpired in terms of the ambush and how this helicopter that was sent on an evacuation mission ended up crashing, killing even its occupants, including the pilots and everyone. So it's, it's, a, it's quite a sad story. This happened on the 14th, which was about four days ago. But um, until now, we haven't gotten any update on that. So it would be nice to get an update on that to know exactly what transpired, because this is a lot happening at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, and it's human lives, too. Yeah, yeah, and the military lives. I mean, every human is important, but I think there's a special value also on the military, because they yeah. are the ones like in charge of protection. Mm -hmm. When you don't have military as a state or as a country you are literally vulnerable to everything yeah every and anything that's just yeah. sad yeah so moving on to my story yeah. which is so i was reading uh listening to this video uh that femi falano uh and in the recent interview he had on one of the tv stations in nigeria and um it was a very shocking revelation for me. Uh, he made the disclosure that a source told him that about $9 billion worth of gold is illegally shipped from Nigeria every year, or the every month, right? And also, now here is the even more shocking one, that according to the old law in Nigeria, that for every... Um, so if you have a land and let's say you have minerals in the land and the government chooses to mine it, apparently the, no, the government will take it as their own property. And so according to the old law that for every property they take, that they get to pay a compensation fee of 100 naira per acre. And that's terrible. So this happens to someone that uh, Falano is representing. And so he says, no, they come to him with like 150,000, which is which should be the compensation for a land lots of acres that has lots of minerals and so he was like no he's not going to accept this so they took it to the law and eventually um they got 250 million naira compensation which is way more than the initial mega 150,000. but then here is the interesting part that land is worth 500 million dollars to the company that was going to mine it and do whatever they want to do with it so it just shows me how like in this country there is a lot of things that are 
um, how do I take, how do I put it, that people are oppressed yeah. out of their rights. Because for somebody like me now, I may not have the resources to afford a Femi Falano. So if this had happened to me, chances are I would have settled for that 450000 because I may not have access to someone who can put up that fight for me. You know, so it's just sad. And I think most of these old compensation, most of these old laws that have made these politicians or companies or expatriates or whatever milk Nigerians, I think it's about time that they change it. 100 mm -hmm. naira is literally nothing. How do you I pay 100 naira fair. per acre? It's, it's cruelty. It's very, I don't think it's very fair. Hearing that the uh, uh, property of that you know, magnitude that has like minerals on site yeah. is what about $500 million or billion dollars. Yeah. And you're trying to give the landowner, the owner of the actual land, mm -hmm. 150,000 naira. That is wickedness in the house. Even the level. 250 million is still nothing compared. It's 250 million naira. Meanwhile, the gain they stand to make is 500 million dollars. You know, I went through I went through the comment section of that story and mm. it just goes to show you how the vast majority of Nigerians are feeling how angry and upset they are. Yeah. And people are beginning... I mean, people have always known that the government is very greasy, mm -hmm. right? And corruption is like the order of the day. But I feel like with what is happening right now in the economy, a lot of people are now beginning to come into that realization. I mean, it is sad yeah. that... A lot of people are just coming to that realization. But I also like the fact that that is happening because we need to open our eyes and start speaking out. Mm -hmm. Like Enough of being docile and just sitting down and not doing anything and just taking it as it is. Dollar is on the increase. Yes. There, there's four prices. Mm -hmm. I mean, so. you mentioned that you could even find yes. fraud, that you had to come all the way to the island yes. for you to get up. And that's, that's, that's just annoying. That's just annoying. Well, I mean, it seems like all our news today is just... It's just sad because mine is sad as well. Actor Nkemowo, um, aka Osofia, reportedly loses his 24 year old daughter. Oh. Now, according to the reports making the round, um, it says that that she was battling liver cancer. Oh, at 24? Yeah, at 24. Wow. She was back here. Yeah. So, um, this is really sad. And my heart, uh, my heart goes out to him. And I pray that God is with his family and is able to comfort them in these trying times. Well, and Whiskey too. Yeah, yeah. I heard about the Whiskey. Um, his new, his, his mom. mom. Yeah, he yeah, lost his mom. Breaking so news. Which is, which, is, which is really sad. Well, anyway. Um, thank you, ladies. So we're just going to take a short break. And we'll see you after the break. <laughs> 